Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for snacks around the world. Still so far coming from my Munch Addict Snack Box, which is a monthly subscription that I pay for out of my own cashy money. Uh, if they wanted to sponsor me, I'm open to it. Hello, but you know, I'm not big enough for that. So there's that. Anywho, out of this box this time, we're doing two snacks today. Um, one is from Mexico. We'll talk about that in a minute. The other one I was surprised to see was from Korea because caramel maple corn and there is not a word of korean on this entire packet except for um in the production notes on the back everything else appears to be in english i found that odd um but it says you know canada maple road caramel maple corn snack uh made from corn flour vegetable oil blend all the oils and stuff caramel maple mix which doesn't say anything about being actual maple i think it's just like flavored stuff to be like maple there's also sweetened condensed milk in this which i find interesting but this is what the bag looks like and we all know that if i try to open it the regular way it's going to be a disaster let's dive in here Will this do or do I need to cut more? We'll find out. Wow, I just got a whiff. That's an interesting scent. Big loopy C's in there. That's kind of weird. They're all shaped like this. I don't know if that's like C for Canada or if that's just how their extruder puts out their stuff. I don't know. They do have a maple scent. They do smell very, very sweet. The texture of a more dense Cheeto. They definitely have some heft to them for being that poofed extruded stuff. I get more maple out of the scent than I do out of the taste, but they seem to be a nice sweet treat. It says made with Canadian maple syrup. That bite had a little more. I'll try another one. Gotta see if there's consistency here. <laughs> There is a nice crunch though. They're shiny on the outside. I don't know if my phone's picking that up. Like they are definitely coated in some extra sugary stuff. They're pretty tasty. Definitely a sweet snack and not a savory snack. I'm not mad at it though. That's pretty good. It says serving size about nine pieces. Yeah. Um, the calories per serving 160 for the whole bag, almost 400. So yeah, don't sit down and eat a whole bag of these as much as I might be tempted to because this is the kind of snack that's like, oh, I'll just keep eating this. It's kind of yummy. Listen for the crunch. <laughs> Nicely crunchy. Syrup made by purifying sap from maple in Quebec. Yes, that is what maple syrup is. Yeah, that's fat chick approved. Straight up. It's a nice, sweet, if you want something crunchy, but you're also thinking you might want something sweet, y'all, import these. Bring them to the U.S. Let me tell you, us in the U.S., we would eat this up because it's sweet, it's crunchy, it's messy on your hands. It's, it's an American snack all over, even though it's from Korea. Who knew? Who knew? I didn't know. Mm. 
I want to sit there and eat that whole bag. I better just set them down because I will. Um, this one here is mango paleta de caramelo con chile. A little bit of chile in this one. And I'll read to you off the little card here. Uh, it's called Vero Mango. Mango flavored lollipop dipped in chamoy spice. We've had a lot of them like this. Apparently, that's a very popular sort of a sweet in Mexico. Um, and I like them because I like a little spicy, a little salty with the sweet. I think it makes it more interesting than just sweet. And mango flavored things are always so much fun. Here we go. That's the little lollipop, as it were. You can see the spice on it. Definitely there. Mm, I can smell the spice. It reminds me of some of my tamarind snacks that have the same spice in it. So, yeah, I, I already know that I'm going to like it. It's probably going to be too chewy, take too long to eat. You get that spice. It's not overpowering. It's not like super hot. Oh, no. It's a spice that is used on a lot of candies. Um, yeah, definitely not mad at that. I... I I would buy and eat that on my own. But I would probably buy the tamarind version first because usually the tamarind stuff's a little softer and you can really just get in there and chew on it and then yum, 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 yum. This though, made into a, a lollipop, it's hard. You've got to stay with it. Hmm. I wonder how deep the spice goes. Because this is totally, like, kid-worthy. It's not hot at all. So I'm kind of digging it. Although I do like some of the hotter stuff, too. And I like sour. I like everything. I like everything, obviously. Fat chick approved. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Not sure what the significance of the shape is. Um, and it says, hola guapos on it. I don't know if that's in some kind of a trademark for them. But mango, hola guapos. Hello, beautifuls. Hello, handsomes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mexico, Korea via Canada. <laughs> Works for me. I'm pleased with it today. I think the hand will like this one too. He won't like this one, but he will like this. And that's why I'm definitely saving a bunch of these for him because he will be all over these once I bring them over to him. He is uh, in the other room right now trying to stay quiet because he was not ready for prime time recording. And I was like, okay, I'll save you some. It's all good. <laughs> mm. Do you like maple syrup? What about mangoes? What about chamoy spice? <laughs> Notice that most of the, the candies from Mexico have a spice contingent to it or have a, a sour contingent to it. That's kind of cool. So, uh-oh, the hand is coming. I think he's going to steal the bag. Should I keep it from him? Should I keep it from him? You rang. <laughs> and there goes my bag. <laughs> Anyhow, thank y'all for coming by. The hand has taken the maple snacks and um, they're gone now. They're gone. So <laughs> they're definitely fat chick approved. I think they're also going to be hand approved except for this one. He won't like this, um, which is why I'm just going to keep on gnawing on it. I will see you very, very soon. Don't forget there will be a hot taste this week. So I will be trying something hot and not just this. Oh, and it got a thumbs up from the hand. He's over there going, mmm, and crunching on them. <laughs> See you very soon. Thank you for coming by. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. Bye, y'all.